Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Join me in prayer. On my heart and print your image. Blessed Jesus, King of grace, that life's riches, cares, and pleasures never may your work erase. Let the clear inscription be, Jesus crucified for me. Is my life, my hope's foundation, and my glory and salvation. Amen. We're all captives. All of us are captives, prisoners to one form or another of sin's incarnation. We live in fear, fear of death, fear of dying, fear of the unknown and unexplored. We're stuck in our sin, caught in our addictions that turn us into the monsters that we hate. We're burdened, pressed down, exhausted by the worries of daily life, and we chase those expectations and grow in despair because life isn't the way we thought it. We don't live in confident freedom, but in timid enslavement and bondage to the desires of our flesh, the definitions of the world, and the devil's theology that tomorrow could be better if we do something about it. We're all captives, locked in our personalized prisons, slaves unable to shake off the chains of lust, Laziness, pride, greed, despair, anxiety, anger, and doubt. We're all captives in different ways, but we all have the same rescuer who saves us. For we are in need of rescuing because we fail at freeing ourselves, not to even touch on the reality that we can't satisfy the Father's righteousness, but even just the reality that we fail every day and we succumb to those bad habits, or even worse, those bad habits become our justified norm of everyday life. We newly created in Jesus, we desire to live a righteous life, to make no provision for the flesh, and yet we sacrifice daily a pound of flesh to our self-made altars, upon which sit sin, death, world, and the devil. We're hopeless, lost causes, good-for-nothing slaves of desire that seem to get worse perpetually. Rescuing us is a fool's errand. It seems like it's not even worth it. So repent with me, my friends. For though we may be a fool's errand, Jesus is that fool who will stop at nothing to save us in the forgiveness of our sins. For Jesus has come to save all sinners, not by eliminating our worldly issues, but by freeing us from them. Let me ask you a question. Were the Israelites still under the domain of the Roman Empire after the resurrection? Yes or no? Yes! It's not like Rome said, oh, Jesus is risen! Awesome, we'll head out of town, and y'all can have the freedom you so long have desired. That didn't happen, right? Or even take it on a more personal note. Are you still afflicted by physical, mental, social, economic, emotional, and spiritual issues, even though you are baptized? and have been given the gift of faith, meaning even though you are a believer, baptized and have faith, do you still have burdens in this life? Yes. Jesus came not to overthrow worldly powers, but to purchase forgiveness, so that we may live through this life in the joy of the one to come. For Jesus entered Jerusalem to save now all of Israel, all of creation, not from temporal burdens, but from the tyranny of sin, the fear of death, and the authority of the devil. On the cross, Jesus delivered us from evil. And this means that Jesus rescues us from every evil of body and soul, possessions and reputation, and finally, when our last hour comes, will give us a blessed end and graciously take us from this valley of sorrow to himself 
in heaven. On the cross, Jesus assumed all your sin, every one of your addictions, every mistake, failures galore, so that he may be accused as the sinner, so that you may be forgiven all of your sin. And that is how Jesus rescues you from every ill today, by forgiving you. That's your relief. There's your rescue and escape from all your problems in this life. If those words don't matter to you or solve your problems, then you don't really see yourself as the sinner. When that's our biggest problem, the biggest worry, does Jesus love me, does God love me, then those words, I forgive you, are the only words we ever want to hear and they solve every problem. Are you poor? I forgive you, says Jesus, and you don't worry. Have you lost all of your money, lost your job, had a broken relationship, been abandoned, been forsaken? I forgive you your sins, says Jesus. Physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, economic, whatever the problem may be in your life, when those words of Jesus are declared to you, that means there is a clean slate. That means you are absolutely forgiven, unconditionally loved by God forever. For sin's wages are death. And if we die in our sin, it's an eternal death. Whereas all those problems in our life, <clears throat> all of our emotional, mental, social, economic problems, what happens to them when you die? They die too. But Jesus' love never dies. So I forgive you all of your sin and release you from every worry today. The forgiveness Jesus purchased for you on the cross and now gives to you abundantly in the means of grace frees you from physical problems, mental ills, emotional chaos, economic burdens, and above all else, your spiritual enslavement to sin, death, and the devil. I forgive you, says Jesus. He says that to you today, my friends. But that means that you are perfect in your Father's eyes, one destined for life eternal in heaven. So here's my final two questions. Do you have real problems in life? Yes or no? Yes. yes. <laughs> we all have real problems, real burdens, real issues. But an even greater question. Do you have a real Savior? who really was born, who really lived obediently, who really died, who really descended into hell, who really rose, who really ascended, and who now really comes to you to forgive you all your, all your sins, and is your name really written in the Lamb's Book of Life forever? Yes or no? Yes, indeed. All of the above. My friends, though we may be a fool's errand in saving Jesus does it anyway. He came to die for us. He comes to forgive us. And he will come again to usher us into the new heavens and the new earth unto all eternity. So peace be with you, my friends, and may you worry not, little flock. For the devil's word of doubt is drowned out today by the voice of Jesus' assurance. For you are Jesus' possession, his beloved, his little lamb forever. Jesus has rescued you. And he will keep you safe in the forgiveness of your sins as he ushers you into his kingdom, which shall have no end. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.